What's going on? My name is Austin Hustles on the Makai String channel. Today, we're going to be maxing on squat, bench press, and deadlift. I'm also going to be comparing these maxes to my maxes that I did 13 weeks ago when I first started my new program, which is called the PH3 by Lane Norton. So stick to the very end to see how those maxes compare, but sit back, grab your protein shake, and enjoy the video. So here's the first warm-up set of 375, obviously not deep enough, um, but we learned that um, right here is my max from 13 weeks ago, and that's how deep I went. Not deep at all, but we're not gonna let that happen again. Here we're doing 405, which was the same as my max from last time. And let's see if we can hit depth on this. After watching that clip of 375 that I did, I knew that wasn't deep enough, so we gotta focus extra hard here, and I think that was pretty good depth. And I was feeling myself. I went for more. This is 420 on the bar. And let's go down and see. Amazing. That feel that felt so amazing. Still feeling myself. We're going for 430. Get it from the front here. And I had a knee brace on because my knee was hurting me a little bit. I don't wear, usually wear knee braces. And keep in mind here, I'm not wearing a belt. Last time I maxed, I was wearing a belt. And I hit depth there. So I was extremely, extremely proud of myself. The differences from this um, squatting max and last squatting max was one, I had squat shoes. Those helped a little bit. Two, I didn't wear a belt when I was maxing this time. Three, my depth was a lot better and with that for my form was better and i didn't have any lower back pain but let's move on to my bench press so we're just warming up here this is like 195 i believe i'm not sure regardless just a warm-up set felt good all right onto the bench press max from 13 weeks ago this is 230 on the bar i believe and we got it up fairly easily but look at my feet they're not completely on the ground here we have changed that my feet are completely flat i'm getting a lot more leg leverage and we're going for 235 can we get it obviously we, we do but we're gonna go for more weight here because that felt pretty easy right now we have 255 on the bar i believe uh 225 235 through four or that's 245 i'm not entirely sure it's either 245 or 255 but we get it up and we're good and then this next one here this is 255 i believe and this is actually what we end up maxing for this time around. The first time we maxed uh, 13 weeks ago, that was 230 pounds. This time, 255 pounds. So 265, but we can't get it. And the pins right there, they save me. So make sure you are benching safely. Deadlift. I was very, very happy with my deadlift. This is just a little warm up set here, 315. Get it? Good. No shoes on this time. We're feeling good, feeling good. Pull up, this is my max from 13 weeks ago, 405 pounds, we got the belt. And if you look at my lower back, there is a decent amount of rounding towards the end. You may not see it here, but I definitely felt my back rounding on this. Very uncomfortable, had a lot of pain after. Right here, bam, we're going for five pounds more than my last max. This is 410 pounds. And if you can also see, zero belt. Let's wait for myself to get it up. working on the grip here and we learned how to actually pull the slack out of the bar which probably is the biggest game changer that's why i don't need a belt and i get it perfectly i get it i'm happy here <laughs> uh here in this next clip we are going for two or 430 and no belt as well however i cannot get it so we go for 430 again this time we do have the belt and I'll just let the video speak for itself. Woo, let's go, baby. <laughs> I was so hyped on that. So in 13 weeks, I went from a questionable 405 back squat to a 430 back squat. I went from a 230 pound bench to a 255 pound bench. And may I remind you, I had been on a plateau for bench press at 230 pounds for about three years. I went from a 405 deadlift max to a 435 pound deadlift max in 13 weeks. And I fixed up my form completely, had no more lower back pain. 
I am so pumped. Lane Norton's PH3 program really does work. Just type it into Google. There's a free Google sheet you can download from Reddit. He recommends that you have a Wilk score above 300. That's like uh, your three main lifts combined divided by your body weight. So if you're at that level of lifting yet, we have the 300 plus Wilk score. Definitely try it out. It's, I mean, it's harsh on the body, but you will see gains. So right now, I kind of don't know what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to do the PH3 again, but I don't know when I'm going to start it again. Maybe I'll wait a week or something. I don't really know how power lift, power lifters uh, plan that thing out, but it was really fun. I like the hypertrophy in it too. I don't think I did it as much as I probably should have. Uh, I focus mainly on, you know, the squat bench and deadlift, but I'm going to be doing a lot more hypertrophy this time around um, now that I know that this program will work. So I'm just hyped to go ahead and start it again. And if you want to see more fitness content, please go ahead and subscribe right down here to the left of me. I have that video of me maxing last time. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen it already. My name is Austin Hustles on the Makai Strength channel, and I'm out later.